time in years. And so plugging in what we know, we're looking for the final amount. P is the principal, or how much the loan starts out for. It starts out as a $25,000 loan times 1 plus r, r is the interest rate, 6.5, 25,000 was p, 6.5 written as a decimal. Remember, that means we have to move the decimal twice. So that would be 0 0.065. Common error is people forget to convert. 6.5 would be 650 percent. That's a terrible interest rate. Don't buy the car. And some people only put the decimal in front of the number. To get 0.65, that means 65 percent interest, which is a little better than 650, but it's still very, very terrible. Uh, don't take that car loan either. Move the decimal twice, 0 0.065 over n, which is the number of compounds in a year, and this one's compounded quarterly. So how many quarters do we have in a year? There are four quarters in a year, just like there's four dollars in a year. All to the nt power, n is 4, again, t is time. It's a 5-year loan we're interested in, so we're going to multiply by 5. Now, as we enter this equation into our calculators, we need to be very careful with how we do it. What I usually do is do it in three steps. One step, I type in the parentheses. Another step, I'll type in the exponent, and then I'll do everything at the end. So we've got 25,000 times, and if I type in my calculator 1 plus 0 0.065 divided by 4, make sure it's a scientific calculator, 1.01625. And as for rounding, sometimes the rounding gets really weird inside this parentheses. I would say use every digit your calculator gives you to be as accurate as possible. If you round too much, you can end up being off quite significantly. So put all the digits your calculator gives you. In the exponent, 4 times 5 is 20. Now we should be able to calculate the final amount. Depending on the type of scientific calculator you use, you might have to, to start with the long decimal and raise it to the 20th power, and then multiply that answer times 25,000.